Hi guys, hello and welcome to another Java programming tutorial. In this tutorial, we will solve the homework problem where you will accept from user employee ID and employee salary. And we will declare a constant called state tax rate, which will be 0 0.06 value, which is equal to 6%. And then we will perform the calculation. So the bottom line is that you will find a couple of new elements in this versus our previous homework assignment and you will be looking at how to declare constants in Java on top of that you will also see how to perform arithmetic calculations in Java Java follows the PEMDAS rule which is uh, parentheses exponent multiplication division addition subtraction again I have dealt with these in detail in my Java tutorial playlist here, I am doing the homework help. So if you are interested in learning about the concepts, please visit the Java tutorial playlist. So we will get started from our previous example. Uh, we declared a scanner object to accept an input from user. In this example, we need to accept the uh, employee ID and employee salary. So I can leave this at an ID, which is string ID, and then for the salary, I will declare an instance of type double. I will be accepting an input from user. Please enter your ID. I can change that to please enter your employee ID. And then I can change this to please enter your salary and change this to salary equals to input dot next double which allows me to accept a double value from user now before I display the output back to the user which is employee ID and some of the other things I have to perform a calculation so this is where I need to perform my calculations and what do I need to calculate is written right here in the comment calculate state tax amount on employee salary and state tax rate so let me first declare this constant of state tax rate in Java constants are declared with the word final and the convention is that they must be all uppercase that's just a writing convention so that's a constant declaration for the calculations I will be storing the result in a in a variable which I will be declaring because you need to have all your inputs declared all your outputs declared so this will be my output variable declaration I could very well declare it on the same line as salary or I could declare it on a different line tax amount they could be declared on the same line as well so now I will calculate right here the tax amount equals to salary times tax rate so that calculates my tax amount and as the program states display the employee ID employee salary and tax amount so employee ID slash N salary so I'll do a new line character here and now let me rerun this program and here it calculates now in a different tutorial uh, we will learn about rounding where we will going to use math functions and how to properly round to two decimal places but this pretty much suffices the need for this particular example hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial there are multiple ways to do this particular assignment if you want to do it with the help of the dialog boxes you can then take help from the J option pain class so let me quickly do this let me save this example as problem 3b 
And as you know, in Java, the name of the class and the problem must be, uh, the class and the file must match, so I will rename it. Instead of my scanner object, I will use J option pane. Show input dialog, which allows me to give a message to the user. Please enter employee ID. And then the second one, please enter employee salary. However, since salary is of type double and whatever gets returned from show input dialog is of type string therefore we need to do some casting or type conversion from one type to the other so we will be doing some casting here so double dot parse double so we will be converting whatever comes through as a string into type double let me break it out onto two separate lines so that you can see the complete line salary equals to First you accept an input from user, then it gets casted into the double primitive type and then gets stored in the salary. If you even want to push your output to a J option pane, you can also do that by simply replacing this with J option pane dot show message dialog. And the first parameter will be null. That means it's not associated with any window the second parameter will be exactly the same as your system out dot statement and now let me run it again here's the employee id and salary and here you go it just shows you everything in a nice dialog box so you hopefully you would have seen multiple ways of doing the same assignment and this will help you do this assignment either of the two ways either of the two ways is acceptable so I'll catch you in the next tutorial where we'll be looking at the next problem in the assignment number one. Take care and have a great day.